All right, so I wanted to create a demo that would show how to export drums from Reaper into multiple wave tracks. I haven't seen, well, I it's out there. There's a, a couple demos out there, but I had to really dig and get through um, a bunch of different things to kind of figure out the answers. So I'm hoping to just make a simple demo that just shows how you get, how do you just take your tracks, export them to WAV files, and then you can do whatever you want, add compression, mix, whatever. Um, if you dig this kind of stuff, like and subscribe. I do home studio kind of stuff, all kinds of recording, writing music, and stuff like that. All right, let's get to it. So I've got my two MIDI drum tracks here. Yes, I've got them separated. You may or may not want that. I mean, ultimately, if you want them on one track, that's up to you. But what I've got set up here is um, I have a master track with the um, Easy Drummer plugin on it. And then each of these is routed to that track. So all you do in Reaper is you take this IO thing, you click and you drag, and you get that little quarter inch uh, plug-in thing. And then you release, and then that sets up uh, a path for from this channel going into that channel. I've already got it set up, so I'm just going to delete that one. But basically, so I've got, you know, all my MIDI information. It's routed to this track, which then has my Easy Drummer plugin on it. So what you want to do, you've got <clears throat> over here, you know, this is your default view for your plugin. Go to the Mixer tab which I didn't even know this existed until I tried to figure all this out. Um, basically what this is, is um, you're, you can mix all the drums yourself in, in the plugin. This may be enough for you, discovery of that, but all these are basically routing to channel one, a stereo mix of this. So all these are basically routed to channel one, and then you can see over here is stereo channel one. So the first step is to go to this, drop down, and go all the way down to multi-channel. And when you click that, you'll see down below, all of your channels are now routed to separate, um, all, all these tracks are routed to separate channels. So that's step one. If you play this back, you I'm pretty sure you're only going to hear kick drum. Yeah, because that's what's routed to to input one and this is input one so how do you solve that what you do is you come over to your easy drummer here right click and go to this build multi-channel routing for output of selected effects so you click that and you get all this don't panic uh, basically what this is doing is creating a new track for each of these channels in the easy drummer plugin so you say yes and close your easy drummer and you can see now each of these tracks should be routed with um, it should correspond to those channels in the mixers in the mixer part of the easy drummer plugin. So if I hit this you can see that the plugins triggering and each of these is accepting each of these is accepting the information from the plugin. All right, so the next thing you do is come in here and you want to take note of which one of these are mono and which ones are stereo. And that matters because you're going to basically create, um, you're going to render a track, either mono or stereo, based on what this channel is. So you come in here and you go, all right, one, two, three, and four are all mono. And then you come back here, select your one, two, three, and four, right click, go to render freeze tracks, render tracks to mono stem tracks. Click that bad boy. And now it's rendering these. The other thing you want to do is make sure none of these ever hit red. If it tags red, you're, you're in bad shape. The other thing is um, some of those, some of those look low. So if I go to mono, I'm just going to hit it again here so you can see. 
This looks like a low output, and that looks look like a low output. So easy three and easy four. I'm going to cancel that. Come up back into my plug-in. Go to three and four. Turn those up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back to render freeze tracks, render as mono. Click that. I've got a little bit better of, a, of an output there. So I, I go through and kind of tweak this until I've got a nice signal. But then what that does is outputs, you know, you've got your rendered audio right here, and it saves this other track, which is routed from Easy Drummer. This is now a new track, completely unrouted, just a WAV file. This is the one that's still routed from the, uh, from the um, plugin. So I just go in and I, I end up deleting these because I've always, you, you've got the, the MIDI information. All right, and then the last thing, or last thing, whatever, the next thing I do is these three tracks are stereo, so five, six, and seven. It's the toms overhead and the ambient mic. Um, so you just come in here. Oops, you go down to five, six, and seven. You right click and you go render freeze tracks, render tracks to stereo stem tracks. So you click that bad boy and now this, you know, check your levels again and everything, but this should, yep. So then I just, you know, delete the extra tracks. If you want to save them, you can, but that gives you like, if I turn off, if I turn off a drum master, you come down here, solo, one of these. That's, that's, bas that's basically the ambient track. So that is, and then what I've noticed too, real quick, you've got from 11 on to 16 is either one shots, shaker, tambourine, basically the extra effects of the drums which I don't use a lot. Uh, I don't have, I don't think I've used them much at all, uh, but you can just come in here. It dumps out 16 tracks, but you can come in here and just basically kill any track you don't want. So there you go. Um, now you've got now you got wave uh, wave files of your easy drummer MIDI. Later on, don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, lots of um, home studio, home recording, writing and recording stuff, tons of guitar-related content. So thanks.